Giannakin Pat Bank's earnings meets expectation in the second quarter of 2024. The share price of Giannakin Pat Bank Public Company Limited faced continued pressure on the stock market following the release of its second quarter of 2024 earnings report that fell short of expectations. KKP reported a net profit of 769 million baht in the second quarter of 2024, marking a significant drop of 45.4% compared to the same period last year. This decline was attributed to challenges such as higher credit costs and a decrease in margins. Industry analysts at Grumfi Securities conveyed a bleak outlook during the recent analyst meeting highlighting KKP's downward revision of financial projections for fiscal year 2024. Various segments including return on average equity, consolidated loans, loan spread, and non-performing loan ratio were all subject to downward adjustments. Meanwhile, Maybank Securities Thailand revised out KKP's net profit forecast for 2024 to 2025 by 28 percent, citing reduced expectations for loan and fee income growth while also factoring in higher credit costs. The outlook remains dim for bank cash rents and brokerage fees due to lackluster higher purchase of new loan bookings and challenging capital market conditions. Despite KKP's decision to stop its loan services to used car dealers, UBS cautioned that the bank still holds the top position as an active lender. Looking ahead, the Swiss investment bank predicts that both Tisco and KKP may see stabilization in their NPL and losses from car repossession in the latter part of 2024. Moreover, overall credit costs could remain elevated in the years 2025 to 2026. As KKP grapples with challenges stemming from higher credit costs, lower margins, and a sluggish loan environment, investors and analysts will be closely monitoring the bank's strategies to navigate through the tough market conditions ahead.